Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I am able to control an Ubuntu system uh, using Barrier with Mac OS running as my server, and obviously the Ubuntu running Barrier as a client. Mac OS is on Sonoma, and Ubuntu is version 22.4.3. LTS desktop version. And with that, let's get right into it. I do want to point out that the video output of the Ubuntu system is being captured on my Mac OS and uh, and I'm able to view that using OBS Studio. That gives me the ability to uh, video capture or screen capture both environments and easily a three finger swipe between them both using a single monitor. Uh, I just want to point that out there so I don't want anybody to think that there's kind of, kind of funny thing going on and I'm trying to trick people into what I'm showing. And with that, let's get right into it. Okay, uh, before we get started installing Barrier on the Ubuntu side, uh, I will have to make a change on my server. I wish I didn't have to do this, but I'm going to stop the Barrier server on Mac OS, go to Change Settings, and I'm going to, have to untick Enable SSL. I've not found any way to make Ubuntu play nice as a client. It, I hear it, it does better if you make it if you make it the boss for Barrier and make it be the server. But I need Ubuntu to be a client in my case, not the server, and it won't play nice with SSL. Uh, so I'm going to have to disable it because it will work if SSL is disabled. Click OK and I'm going to start up my barrier now. You can see SSL is disabled. And this IP address for the um, barrier uh, server is important because we'll need that when we're configuring Ubuntu, the Ubuntu side of this. OK, so now let's go to the Ubuntu side. and. I'm running uh, version 22.04.3 LTS or long term support. Uh, it's the 64 uh, bit with X11 for the windowing system. And the processor, it's an Intel quad core J4125. And this is literally a pocket PC or Intel stick, as it's commonly called. The good thing about Ubuntu relative to Barrier is that. Barrier is now part of the software repository, so installing it is just a matter of telling Ubuntu, hey, install it. So let's do that. Click on show. Oops, I don't know how I got accident, what accidentally hit to make that pop up. Okay, click on show applications. And in the top center search field, type in, um, start typing in the word terminal. And you'll see the icon appear for terminal, terminal window. Go ahead and select that. I'll bring that here to the center. And to install barriers, I said we just have to tell Ubuntu to install it. So that's done by typing in sudo space apt space install space space barrier space. And I put in a hyphen and a as you were, hyphen and Y. And that simply says to the installer, hey, after you initially download the software, go ahead and install it. Otherwise, it'll prompt me, do you want to install it? I hit enter. I am asked for my password. Um, that's my login password on an Ubuntu desktop. Your default login has administrative rights. So type in that password. It will immediately download the software, install it, and be done. In just a moment, whammy, we're done. Now, uh, it's unceremonious. It'd be nice if there was a message that said software installation successful. But um, if it had failed, it would be spewing bloody chunks. Uh, so we don't see any of that. So that's a good thing. So let's go back now to show applications in the lower left. And in the top center search field, type, start typing in barrier. And now you can see that familiar icon from your Mac OS side. Click on that. 
and that brings up the uh, configuration or setup for barrier and we are going to be a client okay and it um, let's see uh, it says barrier starting but not running uh, so let me stop it for a moment because I do need to tell it give it the um, IP address of the barrier server I'm going to uncheck auto uncheck auto config and type in the IP address for my barrier server I showed that earlier you could just bring up barrier um, on your server and it shows you in the top left uh, the IP address and now I click start and it says barrier is starting hold on I need to also make, make sure one other thing and they come into the uh, top uh, I mean here change settings it's Although it says SSL is disabled, it's checked as enabled. I have to uncheck that. Okay. And now I can start up barrier. It says it's starting. Let me go over to the Mac OS side. And uh, configure. I need to add barrier here. So I'm going to add in the name of my Ubuntu uh, system and uh, click OK. I'm going to have it be in the top center quadrant uh, for barrier. I'm going to stop my service and restart it. I could have done reload, but um, just as well. Okay, barrier is running here on the server side and mm -hmm. You notice how it now it says here barrier is now connected. Okay. So now let's have some fun with this. Uh, we should be able to see uh, the Mac, uh, me controlling Ubuntu using the Mac keyboard and mouse. Okay, and now I know we're not zoomed in on the screen. The purpose isn't so much to show uh, screen content as it is to show the keyboard and mouse for my Mac um, uh, controlling the Ubuntu. Now, if I come over here to the Mac side, everything is I would expect. Uh, I can grab my barrier window, move it around. I do have a terminal window up on the Mac side, or better yet, I can uh, go into Safari and type in a web page and uh, familiar web page for all Mac users. Okay, I can do that. Real nice. Now let me uh, swipe over to the Ubuntu side and initially uh, I, I'm not controlling anything, right? So I move my cursor to the top center quadrant. You see it now pop up on the bottom and now voila! You can see it working, huh? And I can uh, let me fire up my uh, Firefox browser. It's the default browser on Ubuntu. And uh, let's just start a new session here. Now let's, uh, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and illustrate copy and paste because that is enabled um, to return the uh, keyboard mouse control back to Mac OS. I'm going to have to go down. Uh, so I'm back here now. And as you can see here on the Mac side, if I bring up barrier, click on uh, configure server advanced settings, it has a check mark for enable drag and drop file transfers. 
I'll just tell you right now, I found no way to make that work. Uh, I do also have checked enable clipboard sharing. That does work, and so I'll illustrate that. And so I come up here on the Mac side, and I'm going to do Command L to bring my cursor up to the address bar. I'm going to go ahead and Command C Charlie to copy that. Now I'm going to move that same mouse cursor. Um, actually, let me go over to the Ubuntu, bring it up to the top center. It comes up from the bottom. I come up here. Now on the Ubuntu side, it's Control V for pasting. And you see the Apple string in there, and voila. And it works the other way too. So let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, bring up a different page. Control C for Control Charlie to copy. And let me uh, return the keyboard mouse control to the Mac side and open up a new window and I'll do control V for paste and it gets that string that was the uh, illustrating the Apple Watch and lo and behold that's where we are. Copy and pasting of text in between the two environments is a very very helpful feature to have and I would drag and drop work too that would be amazing but I found no way to make that work uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it works if you put Ubuntu in charge, but I'm sorry, I'm not putting no Linux in charge of things. It's a uh, productivity environment is based on Mac OS. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you do know how to get this particular setup to work using SSL, please let me know. Um, I don't use Ubuntu or any Linux a whole lot, so I'm okay using having SSL disabled. However, most of the time I'm using Windows, and for that I absolutely have SSL enabled. Uh, that's what I use when that Pocket PC is booted up into Windows. That's what I use on a, a little uh, Windows mini PC that I have or any other environment that I'm attaching. Okay, um, please leave likes and subscribes. I will do the same if you have your own channel. I will. I really will. And we'll help each other out. And so please, I'm asking because I'm getting oh so close. And we'll, we'll all cross the finish line together if we work as a team. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.